I had my t-shirt for the first time today. She's everyone was commenting about how I ironed my shirt was last time. Everyone was giving me grief on my... Ready? Yep. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. And today we've got Lee Ball in the chair. How are you doing, man? Very good. You good? Very good. So, what are we doing? What's the plan? Yeah, uh, I was watching one of your videos. Mm -hmm. with, uh, I've got a picture with uh, Kieran. I think it's December 2023. Okay. And okay. he's got a sort of like haircut like up to uh, shoulders. Shoulders, yeah. A little bit that, that those straps like... You oh, it drops shoulder. a little bit at the back, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay. Like, 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 like this, like to those straps, you, okay, may, yeah, you yeah, were mentioning yeah. that it's not like up to the neck, but yeah, yeah, you know, that's, yeah, shoulders. Yeah. I get you, yeah. And sort of make it like a little bit, maybe sort of vibrant and stuff, but like okay. kind of cleaner. Do you want to take it to that length today? Is that what you'd like to do? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Sort of just on top of the shoulders, yeah? yeah. yeah. All right, cool, yeah. Let's have a look how long it is. Wow, that's a good, a good amount of length off, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, All right, yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So we're looking at about a sort of probably, like, I'd say just over a third off, I would say, in terms of maybe half to a third, mm -hmm. roughly. Is that all right, yeah? Oh, yeah. And then do you want to have a little bit of movement in it so it kind of just falls nicely and drops down nicely and stuff, yeah? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever tie it up? Do you uh, ever tie the hair up? Is it, sometimes. Know, like, sometimes, yeah. yeah. But you're predominantly wearing it down? Uh, mostly, yeah. Mostly, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's perfect then, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just wonders how much texture to put in, that's all, because mm -hmm. if I put too much in, yeah. bits can fall out when you tie it back, you see, so. Yeah. All right, cool, yeah, yeah, no worries. Let's have a little look at the picture. Let me of have course, a look yeah, at who it was. Let me just remind myself. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now, yeah, yeah. Cool. You've been doing like a little bit with the razor, uh, kind of like yeah, the, the, on the bottom, yeah. Okay. Details. The thing is with his hair though is it's a it was a bit thicker than yours, mm -hmm. um, so I could I could overly texturize it a bit more. The thing that will bring out the texture in yours today though is the section and pattern that we do. Mm -hmm. That's what will bring out the sh oh. the texture. Okay, but okay. the length and everything else, I think yours will sit better than Kieran's because of the weight and the the the, the straightness of your hair as well. So I think you'll have a bit more of a drop. Mm -hmm. I think you'll have. Do you know? Let me uh, let me show you. Probably a bit like if you heard of the singer James Bay. Do you know that guy? Do you know him? Probably, maybe I saw you him You probably know his somewhere, music, yeah, you probably know his yeah, music. Your hair texture will be a bit more like that. Mm. So I think your hair will fall a bit more like that mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. yeah. in terms of the shape. Yeah. So there's a couple on here. I mean, like a shorter version of that, you know mm. what I mean? So it sits a bit higher up on the sides. Not yeah. like a centre part, but just yeah. a bit more like that. I think that's what your hair texture is a bit more like. Mm -hmm. So I think we could probably give a bit more texture like that as well, and a bit more movement. Mm -hmm. But that, that's how your hair will fall mm -hmm. over the way Kieran's fell. Mm -hmm. His fell a little bit more wild, you know, because oh. he had a bit more wave in your hair, but in his hair, sorry. So I think something like that would be quite nice, where you've got that little bit of texture in there, yep. but on a shorter scale, if that's yep. okay with you, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. Cool. Like, that's probably a bit more shape than that, though. Uh -huh. Do you know but what I mean? The length is kind of... The length is kind of down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, does that sound good, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right, let's get cracking then. So we've just um, shampooed and conditioned Libor's hair. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a horseshoe section in this, because I want to start with the back and sides, layer it all on, get the length in right before we start. Where the recession point is up here, I'm going to drop it down just a touch, just to about there, right? And then it's over, like so. Yeah, just in small sections. Obviously, there's a lot of hair, so it'll all just get bunched up in the comb. Especially when you're using like a small comb you know, with like a section and tooth on it, you are going to, uh, yeah, you're going to get the hair caught up in it. So I don't want to pull at the hair or anything like that. So just small sections, and that all into the middle, like so. Then we can bunch all that up together and clip it up. There we go. Got another tall guy in the chair today, showing my height. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone was my height who came in here. You know, I'd look really tall then. <laughs> yeah, that's even both sides. So I'm happy with that. So now what we do is, just because it's tangling up at the ends, I'm just going to use a detangler just to brush that out. As you can see, it doesn't cause too much damage or anything like that. Here we go. And then I go back to my comb. I'll do the same thing again. So just bring everything forwards. Like so. Lift it up and then I'm just going to wrap it round. On my finger, work it around just like that. Just wanted to tangle up a little bit like that. There we go. Get a clip. Just work that through. Just so it's not going to bunch up or anything. That's why I haven't wrapped it too tight. Right? There we go. So we're looking at the length of the shoulders. So as always, when you're doing palm to palm, the top layer sits on top of the bottom layer. That's what creates a nice square shape. That also creates texture as well. So how I find the length is take a two finger width section because we're taking quite a bit of length off. Two fingers from the recession point. Is there. So we pull this out. We want this to drop down, don't we, really? So as we put through our fingers, we want to be losing about that much. So just give yourself a bit of a guide. Just use your fingers, just lo loosely, just to drop it down like that. And then you'll know, just go a touch shorter than that at the top. And I want that to drop just down 
to the shoulders, like that, right? Now, because we're still keeping some length in here, we can't really, like we wouldn't do any major, huge sort of transformational section and pattern or anything, that's all where we tie it up and we cut it right off to start with. What we're doing is we're, we're just cutting the shape in. So by doing that, we can't donate the hair, unfortunately, because we're not, we're not, cutting, we're not cutting off enough length to do that with. Mm. So you can see, there we go. So it's bang on the shoulders, which is what we wanted it to do. So how long have you had your hair long for? I started to grow my hair since 2000, maybe 12 or 13 years. Roughly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're a seasoned veteran with long hair then, aren't you? You're, oh, you're so not the lockdown, you're not the lockdown <laughs> grower then now? <laughs> no, no. No, the OG. You're an OG of, yeah, of long yeah. hair now, yeah? Yeah. Nice. And my last haircut was about one and a half years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Which is, you know. Yeah, yeah. How's it feel to be back in the barber chair? Does it feel nice? Great, yeah, yeah I love yeah. it, you know, it's nice. just like the feeling, you know, just, yeah. you feel like a new person. You do, don't you? You really do, don't you? Yeah. Do you think, do you, I found that's what everyone kind of missed in lockdown, I think, you know, when mm. lockdown happened. Mm. Um, I, felt, I felt like just being back in the chair, mm -hmm. or just being back in the shop environment was, mm -hmm. was what a lot of people missed, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, again, if, you're, if you've not sat there for a year and a half, it's probably a bit like what a lot of people did during COVID, isn't it? So, mm. I imagine you can relate, people can relate to that feeling. Yeah. It's some kind of social experience as well, you know. Isn't it just, yeah, yeah. I agree. So what made you grow your hair in the first place then? Wow, good question. Um, I used to do impersonator of Michael Jackson. Did you? Yeah. No and way. I used to wear wigs, but it was quite, you know, when you dance, you want to, you know, like do like 100% moves. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And make like everything sort of, you know, properly. Yeah. And then with my own hair, it was way easier to sort of dance properly without worries to, yeah. you know. The wig coming off, yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And this was the main reason why I started to grow my hair. Wow. I mean, do you still do it now? Uh, no, no, no. I, I was doing it, uh, I used to do this like from 2006 till 2012, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like. A... Can you can you still do it though? Can you still do the moves? I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Would you Would you show us at the end? There's nothing on camera. I just, I just want to see it myself. Why, why not? If you want, I can do it on camera. Would you? Right? Would you do it? Yeah. Maybe some moonwalk or something. I'll put some music on for you, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll get the we'll get the music going. <laughs> some extra show for the channel. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. But it's it's pretty amazing. Wow. I mean, honestly, right? I mean, if if I could dance. My God, like, I'd be over the moon. I can't dance to save my life, you know. I really, I really can't. I'm not even joking. Like, I, I used to think I could, but, well, you know, alcohol, you know, Dutch courage, that kind of thing. You, you, you can get up and dance, you know. I, I can't. I really can't. Um, again, I was saying to, to uh, one of the guys who was in, who, who, who can sing, I said, you know, I said, I sound like Usher in the shower, but as soon as the water stopped running, I don't sound like him anymore. So wow. I don't know. I don't know why the water's playing tricks on me. You know. <laughs> so how did you? Um, how did? How did you do? How did you get into that? Like just out of interest. Uh, I, I remember the time when I was just in a bars or clubs or like everywhere. I was like just dancing, and yeah. then, and I just liked Michael Jackson's. Uh, songs and stuff. Yeah. And then I met one of my very good friend of mine, and he used to be, I think, number one in Czech Republic at that time in a sort of communism era, uh, sort of Michael Jackson. Okay. And he inspired me, and he told me that we would do show if I want to like dance again as well. And I was like, oh, I have to learn everything, you know. Wow. And he said, if you learn, you can dance. And then we made a big show in a. Uh, Czech Republic where I was born yeah a city called Ostrava okay and there is uh, one big party street with there used to be about 60 clubs pubs and restaurants oh, in wow. one street and they hired the limousine like white like long the, the Lincoln you know the American yeah, style. yeah yeah and we've been like free sort of jug we call it like Jackson free show okay and it, it was like we were dancing on a bar in a one one mm, sort of uh, pub or bar or something yeah. like this. It was such a, such a strong experience. Wow. And at that time I realized, wow, this is what I want to do, you know. That's incredible. Yeah, and I started to like learn and learn and learn. I, I, mm, um, uh, I asked my friend to, if he's got some, some DVDs and yeah. he sort of like borrowed me the DVDs and I was like... Old school, yeah, yeah old school. Learn. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it, just, it was like really, really great time. I'm He's not an easy person to dance like, though. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> Could oh, have yeah. picked someone a bit easier, you know? Yeah. 
That's amazing. Yeah. I wish I would be able to sing like him. I know. Tell me about it. I know. But it's I know. another level, you know. No, I think, I mean, Michael Jackson was just, was just something, sort of special, really, yeah. wasn't he? You know, he was just a, you know, there's, there's, I don't think there's ever going to be or ever will mm. or ever has been or will be anyone like him, you know? I think there's people who have come close, but mm. definitely not not to that level. Yeah, yeah. He was just ridiculous, wasn't he, in every, in every level? Like, oh, yeah. Like personality and everything. Yeah. You know, just like all in one, you know, just like... That's it. It's but a bit of a shame how his how how his how his career ended though, mm. wasn't it? Really, it was a shame everything that went around it, wasn't yeah. it? Because he was just a legend in every way, mm. wasn't he? But I mean, at music mu as a musician, though, my God, like I mean, I, I I still listen to his music now. You know what I mean? I, I still like his music now. Yeah, definitely. Um, like a, Rock with You is one of my favorite all time songs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love that song. Yeah. I could probably I could probably sway the hips about, about what he did for that, <laughs> that one. And that was probably like the limited amount of dance I could do like Michael Jackson. He just sort of shakes his hips left and right, doesn't he? I think I can do oh, that, yeah, you know? Yeah. It makes you like naturally to move your body. You know? yeah, it do, yeah, but it does, doesn't it? That's the thing. I think his music did that, didn't it? It kind of made you dance, didn't it, in a way? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you kind of feel the flow, you can get yeah, into it. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it, yeah. It doesn't have to be like perfect, just, you know? No. Like, like in your you know, living room and stuff. That's it, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, I see like my, my children, the way they dance now, and like the way they just, like, they just break into dance when they're watching a film, you know, especially when they're watching some sort of like, you know, Disney film or, mm -hmm. you know, like a Netflix kind of Disney-inspired film or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I always find that amazing how they how they just have that confidence to do that. Like, mm -hmm. where, did my, where did my confidence go at that point, like to not be able to do the dance like that, you know what I mean? To have that confidence just to break into dance, if you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, it's such a shame, really. You just end up losing it as you lose it as you get older, don't you? You start realizing that people are watching you and you, you yeah, start to care. A, this is a big yeah. thing, you know, like it's just... I remember I had like one show, it was like crazy unexpected thing, but we got ready for it and there, were, there was about, I think, more than four or five thousand people. Oh my gosh. And I was sitting in a, there was kind of van and I had two guys like a sort of kind of security like for the show you know yeah 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 and to I was, make to keep the illusion that it was yeah, actual michael jackson yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and i was sitting in in the van i was like oh is it for real it, will i go there in front of those people you yeah, know yeah. now and i was like yes and then i was like i have to you know and i was kind of scared and just nervous but i went there and it was a great time you know, just... wow that... how did you build up the courage to to do that in front of such a big big uh, big crowd oh wow it just I think that feeling, it's quite challenging. And when you like what you do, then mm. it's not a problem. It's like for you filming a videos and yeah. it's just your passion and yeah. you can go through that challenge and then it's a big reward after that, you know? Do, do you know, yeah, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. I think for me, the reason why like, I don't mind being on a camera mm -hmm. is because if you think about my job, you know, like when you start, you know, like if you think back to like any barbershop experiences you've been to mm -hmm. and you've been going to walk in barbers, mm -hmm. You sit there behind the barber and you're sitting on a, on a chair or a bench mm -hmm. and you're waiting to get a haircut, right? Mm -hmm. So you're almost looking up at that barber. That barber's almost on a pedestal, on a stage. Mm -hmm. You're sitting there watching. You're like the audience waiting to get in the chair, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's... I haven't worked in an environment like that. And because I'm so confident in knowing that what I say is going to work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just for years of experience of, of, it, of it working, oh, yeah, yeah. and knowing, my, knowing the trade as, as well as I possibly can at the moment, I feel confident enough that I know what I'm saying is going to work, right? That's number one. Mm -hmm. But also because of that, you know, should we say audience experience mm -hmm. of being in a barbershop where people sit and wait, mm -hmm. it doesn't really make you feel as though you're like, it doesn't really make you feel as though you're not on on stage in a way because mm -hmm. there's people behind you watching you. Mm -hmm. You know, the amount of times when you, you sit there and you've probably just naturally zoned out watching the barber cut hair, mm -hmm. but that barber can see you watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've probably gone into like daydream, but, yeah, but yeah. we don't, we're, we're like, why is he looking over? Why is he looking over? What we're doing? Mm. So you almost are on show anyway, and yeah. I feel like that's probably why it's easier to go on a camera. Um, and don't forget, I, you know, I don't. I very, I do talk to camera, but I don't look at the camera mm -hmm. as yeah. well. Yeah. You know, I think you know. If if we have an outtake reel one day, mm. I'm dreading that because anything that I have to do looking through camera, mm. which is mildly scripted, and I mean mildly scripted, like Liam will say, say, say something like, um, on the left hand, side, you know, thanks for watching this video on here. You know, yeah, videos yeah. are on the side here, comment, subscribe. It takes me four goes to get mm. right, you know, and I'm only saying the simplest of things, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying anything that I wouldn't even say normally, but when I'm doing it to camera, it's so bloody awkward. Mm. And I'm just not naturally confident that way. Mm -hmm. But when I'm doing my job, because I'm confident in my job, 
I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. doesn't phase me yeah. the slightest. Do you know what I mean? So it's really weird how them how that changes. You know what I mean? How that can be the change just because I, I feel as though I've had an audience from day one. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think the, it's, it's it's great. It's like it's a nice thing when you feel uh, like when you act like the camera wouldn't be here. You know? Mm. Well, that, just that like was natural always sort of, you know. That's it. I mean, did, did you ever, during this time, have you have you felt like you've witnessed Liam being here? Unless, like, obviously now he's right on us. But when I'm cutting here and we're talking about questions, do, do you feel like he's there or do you, do you feel like he's not there at certain points? Uh, in certain points, I feel like we we are, like, you know, doing the thing and yeah. then, you know... Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah, He's, exactly. like, sort of silent. Sometimes I can notice him, but yeah. sometimes... But that's know. it. It's notes and it's, all, it's not like you're sitting with a catalogue of cameras on you, is it? Yeah. Because I remember when Liam came to me and said about doing the videos and that, like... and. I remember he was just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to stand here and film you. So you just do, I never, never forget him saying, you just do whatever you normally do and I'll just film it. Yeah. And that was kind of it. Easy. And that's what we've always, simple. we've always done, you know? Absolutely. And I think the genuinity of like easygoing, simple thing, that it's, it's what's, why YouTube is so popular. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. it's uns unscripted, like in the TV, 100%. sort of gen genuine thing, you know? Definitely, definitely. And I think that's the beauty of it as well, is that we've always kind of kept it very raw, you know? I think that's one of the things that I think, why. I don't know, I think that's why I still really enjoy doing the videos. Yeah. It's because we haven't changed at all. Mm. You know, we haven't gone from like, we haven't turned into like, you know, doing like, oh, you know, really like, really edited, scripted videos mm. or anything at all. We've, we've still kept them very much true to what we've always done, mm. you know, which which I really enjoy. I, I, I enjoy that side of it because, you know, it, if it becomes too edited or too scripted, I think, I think it'd just be a bit boring then, you know. Yeah. And I feel like that's why it works because we are, we just, you know, you know, you, you, Liam doesn't edit me um, dropping me comb or if I had a cough and fit. I'm sure that's been in the video a couple of times. You know, it's just like you know, it is, it is what you see, you see is what you get kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's a real thing, you know. It's yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's a part of the fun and uh, just easy peasy. And that's it. Exactly that. Exactly that. You know. So um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just I've done the back and sides, palm to palm, cut the length in, texturize with the razor. Now because we're going for that longer finish. If we were doing a shorter, more medium length, I'd have pulled this out and connected here. But because we're maintaining a lot of length and we want it to be a longer look, I'm actually connecting it to the perimeter. Because that maintains what basically a really heavy disconnection. But what that does is you get all the movement from the underneath, but you get the length above the top. And that's what creates that longer finish. So it's quite a simple thing to do, really. But it's just knowing getting the back and sides right. Like the back and sides are so important because they like the foundation, but they also set the tone for the finish. So by cutting the shape in, adding the texture, and then just basically just cutting this to the length, like a one length cut at the bottom, that's what creates that lovely movement and also maintains the length. So what is it you, uh, you do now then? Obviously you, now you don't do the, the impersonation. No, I, I work as, a, as, a, as an Uber driver. Oh, do you? Oh, cool. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking to um, uh, move a little bit uh, to chauffeur sort of oh nice business or how to say it. yeah and of course yeah, just yeah do more like a executive flip and stuff you know? nice do you do the executive uber stuff at the moment yeah, yeah 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 i do like uber x uber comfort and exec as well oh, nice, but nice. Uh, my car is about five and a half years old it means for some companies they prefer only three or four years old cars right okay yeah so to live up to that exclusive kind of finish yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, it has to be like you know like another level you have to yeah. suit and everything and that's why i'm making the haircut as well oh nice kind of nice way. so the haircut's the kind of part of the what will hopefully be a new a new change or not a changing career but a sort of yeah. you know a, a slightly different avenue than what yeah, you're doing now yeah. Yeah, yeah nice and it's spring you know it's just like the, the the you know the spring is back coming the warm weather like yeah sort of. yeah definitely definitely no it's cool that you've uh, you know that the haircut's going to be part of that change as well yeah, so it's yeah. really cool you have to look you know like uh, smart and of course yeah you've got to look the part yeah of course to have a clean car and just yourself yeah. as well I mean that's the thing it's um you know the job that you're doing is very much about like it's very judged on how you look isn't it so. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, uh, you know, if you're in a suit and your, your hair's not looking right or whatever, you know, it's, you're probably not going to feel mm. your best, are you, either? So. Absolutely, yeah. And it's about your feeling because the customers can feel how the way you feel, you know. Yeah, and yeah. then if you're comfortable, you know. So 
Again, just connecting this in now. Left hand side. Just mirroring what we did on the, the right hand side as well. I'm just going to finish this little take off on the side for you, okay? Just yeah, yeah. sharpen that off a little mm -hmm. bit for you. Mm Take away this neck here as well down the bottom. And it's off now, okay? So I'm gonna mm -hmm. put a little bit of product in. It's just a little bit of hair moisturizer, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because with the, uh, the color of your hair, it feels a little bit dry, mm -hmm. certain parts. Okay. And uh, I just want to make sure that's sitting nice. And just pull this back. Mm. So just to encourage a little bit of that movement, I'm going to use the diffuser, okay? Mm -hmm. You're not going to get any curl in your hair, you're just going to get a bit of movement, mm -hmm. all right? That's so, right. what I'm going to do is, if you lean, I'm going to turn you around, sir. Dry it off a touch. Okay, it's 90% dry. Okay, mm -hmm. and then just let that fall. And that's the sort of shape that you get mm -hmm. as well. Wow. So I just make sure it's all sitting nice. Make sure I've been sitting right at the bottom. Like I said before, to get that same texture, it's all about section pattern. Mm -hmm. So by, by leaving that overhang at this connection, that's what creates the longer movement, but the sides and the back keep the shape in there as well. So that's a really nice thing to do if you want to try and get a bit of movement out your hair. That type of section pattern is great. Mm -hmm. And now I'll just finish off with a tiny little bit more of the hair moisturizer. And I mean the tiniest little bit more. What a difference. <laughs> what a difference, man. What a difference. Yeah. It looks great. Wow, I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really nice, man. Just a little bit of something different. A bit more, yeah. you know, lifting. Yeah. Now, obviously, for work, you could just wear that just coming down like it was. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to put all the effort in like we did today. Mm -hmm. You can just leave it mm -hmm. to dry naturally if you want to. Mm -hmm. I just thought it'd be quite nice to add a little bit of something else to the, the haircut, you know what I mean, that you can bring out if you want to. So what I'll do is, I'm just going to take this off a second. Mm -hmm. There we go. If you hold that for me a second. Hold it mm -hmm. for me. Okay. I'm going to spin you around, so I want you to have that as eye level, and I want you to look at yourself through that mirror, yep. into that mirror there. And there's the length, the back sits up mm -hmm. there. You see? Yeah. So you've got all them little flicky, bit, flicky bits at the bottom uh -huh. there. It'll just give you a little bit of something else. Yeah. And then the same, that side as well, you can see yourself there as well. Thank so you've got Appreciate to look, you see all that movement. The hair still looks long because of the top, mm -hmm. but then you've got the separation at the bottom mm -hmm. as well to give you some, a bit of extra texture as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome, yeah? Happy, yeah? Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. That's amazing, thank man. You, thank you. You are welcome, mate. Thank you, man. Yeah, go on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, move the, yeah, move the lamp out the way. <laughs> Watch the, watch the plant though, because this is a very sacred plant, okay? <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go on then. Wow. 